Hey guys, Green Usher here, and it's that time of the year again when I have to switch out my phone and get a new one from AT&T. So what I'm going to do today is unbrick this LG G2. As you can see, it's not bricked, nor is it rooted. And the reason why is I already tried this method last night because I'm going to get a phone today. And it worked from Sanogen Mod 12, which is Android 5.0, and it got reverted back to Android 4.2.2. So yeah, so what you're going to do with your device is turn it off and I guess I'll just leave it to the side and we're going to work stuff on the computer. So first you're going to need to install this LG driver. It's basically there to connect to your phone so that the computer will recognize your phone. Just like how Samsung drivers are when you try to use Odin. So yeah, that's basically it for that one. So I already installed it and I don't really want to install it again. And my computer already detects my phone. So next what you're, what you're going to install is this LG Flash tool. Again, I already installed it just for the sake of time. But what you're going to need to do is copy these two files. And again, I'll leave a download links for the rest of these. So you're going to copy these two files to the installation folder for the LG Flash tool. So that would be in my computers, C drive, as you can see here it says LG, and the LG flash tool. As you can see I already copied these two, but I'm going to try to copy it again. Copy and replace for both of them. There. Now when I open it, it should work. As you can see, it works right here. It works fine. And I'm first and then now I'm going to exit out of it. Okay, so the last file that you're going to need to download is this. This is basically I know this is a shortcut, but it's a shortcut to the main file which is the basically the software file that you that's going to be flashed onto your phone and it's in my USB right here in LGG2. And it's right here. Don't mind these. Don't mind these other files because those are basically all of these. So yeah, I accidentally moved the Mega Lock and the LG D800 one, but that's fine. At least it runs. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is go to my computer and right click, and then click Manage. Continue, and I'm just going to wait here when I plug my phone. So what I'm going to do is plug my, f what I'm going to do when I plug my phone is pull the volume up button and that's it. So I have to hold it, hold it down, like actually press it when I plug it in or else it's just going to turn on. Okay, so I'm holding it and it should say download mode. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to show you right here that it does say unrooted. I don't know if you can see that right there. Unrooted. So yeah, we're just going to leave this to the side and we should probably refresh this screen and go to device manager. And as you can see right here, it says ports. I'm just going to expand that. And it says LG Android Net USB serial port, COM 11. And that is my phone. So I'm going to go to properties. As you can see it was COM11. But when I open LG flash tool. I'll just show you this real quick. Just so it's going to be clear for you guys. It starts at COM41. So we're going to have to change that. And here's how you do it. So you go to... I believe port settings, yeah, and then advanced. And then you see here the port number. So we're going to change that to 41. Right there. Hit OK. And then, okay, it doesn't refresh, but here now it says COM41. So now what you're going to do is 
run LG flash tool again and check this manual mode and then find this oops click this on menu button and find the this DDL file the one that we moved to the LG flash tool folder in the C drive click OK and this is basically the software file the big one that I was talking about and its location is in my USB drive which is the F1 which is the F drive I'm gonna remove it and add it again so it will be clear for you guys go to my computer here's my USB LG G2 on brick and it's right here then go ahead and open that so now you're gonna check and these all of these ports should be checked then you're gonna try to run it as you can see I've come through an error I'm just gonna press OK now it's gonna show this screen now this is gonna take probably either the longest time or the shortest time for for this um, video because I have a slow computer it took me almost five minutes before everything was good so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's all done okay so it's back and once that's finished it should all say ready so now what you're gonna do with your phone is you're gonna unplug it yeah I know so we basically needed to plug the phone in to get to the port settings and we're gonna turn it off so just, just just wait again I wanna say that I did go back from Android 5.0 Lollipop which was Cyan Engine Mod 12 I think it was 5.0.2 but I'm not sure if you can go back uh, if you have the AT&T stock ROM on 5.0 so be aware of that so now we're gonna turn off the device well what happened see okay there we go now it's off so again we're gonna hold down the volume up button while plugging it in Now it says download mode as you can see it's, it starts immediately right there waiting for connection and here it still says okay now it says 1% well it says 0 but there's lines that say here and it says 4.2.2 .2. it says that's the current version right there when I flashed, when I first started doing this, it started. It said 5.0.2, which was CM12. And don't worry that the phone is late. How it says 5%, and on the computer, it says 14%. Don't worry about that because on the phone it goes rather fast, and it's gonna outrun this one. So I'm gonna be back when it's about 99% or something. So yeah. Hey guys, so um the phone is at 71%, no 70, no 71. And the computer is at 61%. So yeah, it does outrun it around 30%. So no need to worry about that. Hey, so it's kind of funny. I left for a while and the phone automatically rebooted. As you can see, there's the AT&T logo and stuff. Um, on the computer, it says wait for 120 second reset. When I tried this last night, it didn't go through. It said failed, but the phone was okay. And I believe when I first tried rooting my phone and I kind of messed up and I did this method again. Um, it also said fail so it might not say pass to you but as long as the phone is on and stuff I think you're gonna be good 
so set up here I don't really want to set up my Google stuff and I have data connection so I don't need to go to Wi-Fi yeah skip that I don't need okay so the phone detects the computer and it says like charging mode and stuff so now it's back to AT&T sorry about that unexpected cut I accidentally knocked the camera off but yeah it's basically back like just remember that everything gets wiped so that includes your photos and stuff I don't like this view okay so yeah, everything gets wiped including your photos anything on the internal memory so just be aware of that. That's why I have a backup of everything. So software information again is 4.2.2. .2. I never updated it since last night because I might return it today or tomorrow. And it's completely stock. And it has this stupid thing where I can't turn the brightness all the way up. Well, a while ago it did because it was warm. So yeah. So now on the computer, it says 94%. Uh, I don't think it's going to reach it. Okay, there we go. So it says failed. 578 seconds. The port was open. But hey guys, so I mean, it doesn't really matter for me because the phone was okay. It's not like I'm going to return the computer. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below and also like this video. Comment for any questions you have.